Hello guys and welcome, it's Marco. On today's video, I'm gonna show you how to effectively place an order at a restaurant in Italy. And this video is part of a new series called Live on Request, because this topic specifically has been requested by many of you in the comments, okay? So let's get straight to the point. You get to the restaurant, you're gonna greet the front house you're gonna say hello salve or good morning buongiorno buon pomeriggio good afternoon or, buonasera good evening there you're gonna ask for a table you can say i like to have a table for you say posso avere un tavolo per and then you say the number for two, per due, there's four of you in the group. Posso avere un tavolo per quattro? Posso avere un tavolo? Posso avere, can I get? Un tavolo, a table. For, in Italian, for is per. Posso avere un tavolo per, okay? Or get straight to the point and say, there's just the two of us. In this case, you can say, siamo solo in due, or there's three of you. You can say, siamo solo in tre. Siamo means we are solo, just or only. There's just the three of us, okay? You can also have a reservation. So you might say, hey, I have a reservation under the name of Marco. So you're gonna say, ho una prenotazione, a nome, then you say the name, or you can also say, ho una prenotazione a nome di Marco, or, no, or ho una prenotazione a nome Marco, ho una prenotazione, I have a reservation, a reservation is prenotazione, okay, you can also ask then, for menu, can I get a menu, please? You can say, posso avere il menu, per favore? Can I get, posso avere the menu, il menu? There's an accent on the U at the end, please, per favore. Or, if you're done, you like to check the dessert menu, you can say, Posso avere il menu dessert? We say i dolci. Posso avere il menu dei dolci? Or posso avere il menu dei dolci, per favore? Now we are the ordering phase, right? So they come to you, they're like, uh, you ready to order? They're gonna say, siete pronti a ordinare? Siete pronti a ordinare? And you can say, I'd like to have, or I will have, a pizza. So, I'd like to have, you can say, posso avere, posso avere una pizza, per favore, or posso avere una pizza, posso avere, okay? Or you can also say, I'll take, right? I'll take pizza. In this case, you say, prendo, io prendo, I take. Io prendo. Prendo una pizza margherita. I'll take margarita pizza. You might ask for recommendations. So you might say, hey, what do you recommend? You can say in Italian, cosa mi raccomandi? Or if you want to be informal. If you want to be formal, you can say, cosa mi raccomanda? Cosa mi raccomanda? Or cosa mi raccomandi? You might ask for specials. Do you have any specials? You might say, Avete dei piatti speciali? Avete dei piatti speciali? You might have some requests, right? You might want it without cheese, without sauce, without spices, without, in Chinese, senza. Senza. Without cheese. Senza formaggio, cheese formaggio, senza formaggio. 
without souls, senza sugo, souls, sugo, right? Tomato sauce. Senza spezie, without spices. Or if you don't want it spicy, uh, niente piccante or piccante spicy. No. I okay, also say um, gluten intolerant, right? This is really important. You might say sono intollerante, intolerant, al glutine, gluten intolerant. Sono intollerante al glutine, okay? Or another important one, you might be allergic to something, right? You may, might be allergic to nuts, to fish, and so on. In this case, you can say, sono allergico, I'm allergic. And then you say, I'm allergic to fish. Sono allergico al pesce. If you're a man, if you're a lady, you're going to say, sono allergica. Sono allergica al pesce. I'm allergic to fish. Or I'm allergic to nuts. Sono allergico alle noci, nuts. Or if you're a lady, sono allergica alle noci. Really important, right? Then, if you want to get the waiter's attention, right? You can say, excuse me, mi scusi, mi scusi, mi scusi per favore, mi scusi, excuse me. Or if you want to, this, if you want to be formal and polite, if you want to be more direct, friendly and informal, you can say, scusa, scusa. Maybe you want to make some changes, right? As for another, a second round of something, another, posso avere un altro, okay? Can I get another beer, please? Posso avere un'altra birra? Un, another, un altro, o un'altra. Un altro, if the word is masculine. Un'altra, if the word is feminine. Or you can also say, could I also get a garlic bread, apart from, on top of my order? Also is in Italian, anche. So you can say, posso avere anche un garlic bread. Posso avere anche. Can I also have? Posso avere anche. While, can I get another? Is posso avere un altro? Or posso avere un'altra, ok? Can I get another? Posso avere un altro bicchiere d'acqua, per favore? Can I get another glass of water, please? Ok? They might check on you, the waiter might come by and say Is everything ok? Tutto bene? They're gonna say, tutto bene? Or is everything ok here? Here in Italian is qui, and it means at your table Tutto bene qui? Tutto bene qui? Or they might ask you, how is it? Com'è? Okay, com'è? And if everything is okay, you can say, oh, the food is delicious, right? Il cibo, the food, is delicious. È buonissimo. Il cibo è buonissimo. I like it. Mi piace. Mi piace, ok? I like it a lot. Mi piace molto. A lot? Molto in Italian. Mi piace molto. Or, it's very good. È molto buono. It is, it's, in italiano is, è. Very, in italiano is, molto. It's very, è molto, in this case, buono, good. You might also have a negative feedback. For example, you might say, the food is cold. The food, il cibo, is cold. Cold in Italian, we say, freddo. Il cibo è freddo. The pasta is overcooked. La pasta è scotta. Overcooked, scotta. The steak is raw. The steak, la bistecca, is a raw cruda. 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 Or 
it doesn't taste right, you know, you can say, oh, it doesn't taste right. Ha uno strano sapore. Ha uno strano sapore. Could you replace it, please? Me lo può cambiare, per favore? To replace in italiano we say cambiare. Me lo può cambiare? This formal. If you want to sound informal, you can say me lo puoi cambiare, per favore? Could you take it back, please? Or can you take it back, please? Lo puoi portare indietro? Lo può portare indietro? Or lo puoi portare indietro the informal way? To take back. Portare, to take back in Italian indietro. There might be a hair in your food. You can say, oh, I'm sorry. Here there's hair. Hair in Italian is un capello. Un capello. There's a hair. There is, you say, c'è. C'è un capello. And the final part, you can ask for the bill, right? Can I get the bill, please? Can I get, posso avere, the bill? Il conto. Il conto. Please, per favore. Posso avere il conto, per favore? You might split half and half if there's two of you. You're gonna say, paghiamo a metà, metà half. So, paghiamo a metà, metà half, okay? They might ask you, cash or card? Contanti o carta? Cash, contanti. Or, o, card, carta. Contanti o carta. If you feel really generous, you might say, oh, keep the change. Uh, tieni il resto. If you feel informal. If you want to be formal, you're going to say, tenga il resto. Il resto is the change, okay? Or you can say maybe, I'm just going to pay for... My pasta and my pizza. You can say, pago solo. I'm just going to pay for, per, pago solo per, pago solo per, la margherita e la coca and the coke. You can also specify, I'm just going to pay for mine, you know. Pago solo la mia parte, my share, la mia parte. If you're a group, let's suppose you want to make it easy. I'm just going to pay 10 pounds each, all right? You're going to say, off. We'll do 10 each. Paghiamo 10, 10. Each, the most important part, a testa. Okay? Let me know. This is it. If you want to effectively place an order at a restaurant in Italy, how's going to be your experience? Let me know if you're going to be able to apply any of these next time you go to your favorite Italian restaurant in town. And I'll keep you updated and I'll see you soon for another video. Thank you for being here with me. Bye now. Ciao.